Hello to you, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jenny Kirk, welcoming you to somewhere that's not the loft. Today we've come out to somewhere, actually, as far as I can tell, I've never ever been here before. This is the Seven Valley Railway. We've come to Bridge North, and we're gonna be having a good look around, so come with me. I think we've got the weather, and it'd be really great to see what there is here at Bridge North on the Seven Valley Railway. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support comes from Rails of Sheffield. Sell to the name you know and trust. Family-run business purchasing collections for over 50 years. From single items to lifetime collections. No collection is too small or too big buy, sell or exchange, any age or any gauge. Rails will take everything, locos, coaches, wagons, track work, controllers, accessories. In fact, they will take absolutely everything and certainly will not cherry pick the best items. Rails are only a phone call away. Call them now for the very best price and get instant cash payment or same day transfer. Check them out today at the link below. So this appears to be a replica of the Catch Me Who Can, which, if I'm understanding my history right, was the very first steam locomotive that ran on rails, powering itself. It was designed and built by Richard Trevithick, and it ran down in London on a circular track. It was actually treated more as a fairground ride than anything else. But this clearly is a replica, but certainly it's a very interesting thing to see. I didn't know it was here. Down here at Bridge North is where the locomotive department is and there's an awful lot of steam locomotives just parked up over in front of the shed and one of them is this West Country class that really does look the part in this Jubilee purple. They were called West Countries because they were all named after West Country locations. You've probably seen them. Bodmin, um, Barnstable, uh, Westward Ho and this one's called Tor Valley. We're thinking that for the Platinum Jubilee, we're going to paint a loco purple. And the owner of Tor Valley has agreed to it. Purple being the colour of the Platinum Jubilee. And also the Commonwealth Games, which of course were held not too far away in Birmingham. It's been in newspapers, it's been in magazines. It was even the backdrop to the Now Show on the television in the summer. Purple, number 70, Platinum Jubilee carrying the name plates Elizabeth II for our late Queen. It is Marmite. You either love it or hate it. Well, we've got a steam train coming in. Looks like a prairie tank.
found ourselves a Gronk. I do love a good class 8 shunter and we've got one here at Bridge North. I presumably use this for shunting around the loco shed. So it's a bit dark in here, but there's a lovely potted history of the line through photographs. So going right back to when the station was built and the rail line was built. And there's actually some really interesting ones that concern where the railway line used to go when it went past here. There's actually still is a tunnel. There was a road bridge and the line continues right through to Ironbridge Gorge. In fact, some of the pictures in here are really interesting because they show where the line used to go when it went that way. Now, there still is a tunnel up there, but the bridge between here and that tunnel mouth is gone. But there's some really interesting photographs here which show the very last days of that bit of rail line in existence as they were salvaging track materials. Now, the line ultimately went all the way up to Ironbridge Gorge and beyond and joined the line which still exists to what is now a closed power station. And one of the stations on that line was actually at the world famous Ironbridge. Any town of this size had a railway station with a good goods yard because that was where all the merchandise of the town came in and all the produce that the town produced got shipped out. So if there was a drapery store up in the high street at Bridge North, he would order his roll of cloth, probably using the Royal Mail to do so. It would be delivered by train. It would probably come in here. This doorway we're going to is part of what was originally a doorway with rail lines to it. It would be offloaded there onto the local carrier in his horse and trap or later on the motor lorry. This is what this was, was the goods shed. It's say built in about 1860. It's now our machine shop. So let's go in and have a look at the machine shop. You can tell it's an old building, you know, massive great big timbers up there to support the roof. Um, very much blackened over years and years of work and, and probably tobacco smoke to a certain degree, I'm sure. Well, I hope you really enjoyed today's video and if you did please tickle that like button and share it too and you can see we've had a great day here certainly the Seven Valley Railway is somewhere well worth visiting and we've got a link in the description box down below to take you to their website and you can see what trains are running when and also don't forget that uh, I've been nominated as Model Rail YouTuber of the Year by Hornby Magazine in their 2022 awards so if you haven't already voted we've got a link for that and I would be really grateful if you really enjoyed the videos on this channel to lend me your vote in that category but until next time you take great care of yourself happy modeling bye for now today's video comes in association with Trainomatic makers of DCT decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk Additional support comes from Rails of Sheffield. Sell to the name you know and trust. Family-run business purchasing collections for over 50 years. From single items to lifetime collections. No collection is too small or too big. Buy, sell or exchange any age 
or any gauge. Rails will take everything locos, coaches, wagons, track work, controllers, accessories. In fact, they will take absolutely everything and certainly will not cherry pick the best items. Rails are only a phone call away. Call them now for the very best price and get instant cash payment or same day transfer. Check them out today at the link below. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYM Arish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, Alan Dickerson, Eddie Papair, Karen Nicholl, Medwin Williams, Crossways Point Junction, 3B Rail, and Jennifer Horton. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this. How are you doing? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh my goodness. Yeah, fine. I got that on camera. <laughs> that is going into the vlog.